everyone, my name is Bailey and I'm the founder of Ring Crush. I went from zero dollars to over one million dollars on Etsy in just two years. Today I'm going to dive into some of these finances to hopefully shed away some of the common misconceptions about Etsy sellers and hopefully inspire some of you guys to consider selling on Etsy when starting your small business. Ring Crush is an Atlanta-based handmade business focusing on artisanal handmade jewelry. And because of Etsy, we are not able to only provide my personal full-time income, but also the full-time income of nine other women on my team. So to answer the question, can an Etsy shop provide me with a full-time income? Yes, it certainly can. And as you scale and the demand for your products increase, you're going to need to hire an assistant um, to help you create your products and to pack your orders and to do all of those teeny tiny tasks that are required to run an Etsy shop or any other small business. Um, so I hired my first assistant, Vanita, in 2017. And I quickly realized I was capable of doing so much more with an assistant. Suddenly, I was open to be able to focus on marketing, social media, and obviously still continue making. But I wasn't stretched quite so thin. And I was able to allow my company to exponentially grow. And I wasn't disappointing my customers by pushing out my turnaround times to six weeks and eight weeks and slowing everything down. We currently employ myself and nine other women full time. Because Ring Crush continues to grow as Etsy grows, we will be looking into expanding our team further this year and likely we will be adding more full time people to our team. Um, to answer the question, how much can you make selling on Etsy? Well. Ring Crush is anticipating doing over $1 million in revenue this year on Etsy alone. This will not all be profit, as the majority of this will be paid back into the income of my employees, shipping fees, and material costs. But as in previous years, we are expecting very healthy profit margins. These profit margins will allow us to reinvest in our business. Um, Having enough profit at the end of the year saved is the key to growing any healthy company. Uh, and the tricky part about owning a small business is not really knowing exactly how much money you will be making from year to year. So my advice to any small business owner is to live much below your means, save as much money as you can, be as frugal as possible because you never really know when there may be a tough stretch that you might need to weather out. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, if you like it, please subscribe and please comment below if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. Bye.